get ready for the fast intro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video today. And if you guys are still enjoy the videos on my channel, please go down and hit the like button, also hit the subscribe button, and tell me down in the comments what you guys want to see for future videos. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be recording Random Things Are Cool episode number five. And uh, today, we're going to be talking about many different subjects, five different subjects, uh, as you guys know from the series. First subject, let's go ahead and get right into this. This is a pretty funny subject, and I hope you guys do enjoy this. And I hope you did enjoy the fast intro. Now, enjoy my music. freaking issues so topic number one that we're gonna be talking about today is get ready to see my South Park pants and me to close my door <coughs> very calm about that I just dumped my school computer out of my blanket. I really like being comfortable when I do work. Because it's like, I don't know why. Most people would say that being comfortable doesn't help work. But it helps. Actually, that's not our first topic. <laughs> our first, white, focus me. There. Our first topic is going to be my stepfather's birthday. This was honestly pretty funny because <laughs> my mom recorded this reaction that he had. I already showed you guys uh, the poster board in episode number four. So if you want to get a better explanation of that, it may be hard to understand uh, Glenn while he's busting out laughing. If you guys want to get an, a better explanation of what, um, of what the poster board says, go check that out in episode four of Random Things Are Cool. I got a playlist on my channel, uh, just click on my channel, go to that playlist, and you'll find a particular episode we have so far, uh, you'll know you're in the right place if you see a cat, <laughs> that was episode one, school closed, that was like, the 14th of this month, so we've been uploading this pretty fluently, um, yeah, so, his reaction was absolutely hilarious, I gave him the poster board, <laughs> He made it through the first candy bar, but after that, he just, <laughs> it, was, it was really funny. And I'm sorry, I mess with my hair too much. Um, I'm a teenager. At the end of the day, when I record, like right now, it's like, what, 8.30? Yes, exactly 8.30, as a matter of fact. At the end of the day, when I record, my hair's all greasy. I'm a teenager. I get it, okay? Um, it's just my age. I wash it thoroughly every morning. It just ends up like this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to roll the video clip now. <laughs> I hope you guys do enjoy this video clip. Oh yeah, I just want to say real quick, um, you'll see me bouncing around and laughing and being an idiot in my PJs. Well, not really my PJs, but my pants that I sleep in sometimes and just chill out in. You'll see me being an idiot in the background. I'll try to ignore that as much as possible. I know I'm an idiot. Uh, talk to you guys again after this freaking hilarious video clip. Start over, start over. <laughs> Turning 58 is nothing to snickers about. Your mind will play twice. <laughs> Your joints will begin to grow, and you will have a <laughs> Your what's up a call it will work. <laughs> you will be pooping, popping pills like Tic Tac. You will take numerous reasons. No fast, fast, fast breaks. Fast breaks to the bathroom. You will have zero energy, <laughs> so take five and have a mounds of 
fun. A hot tamale like you deserves extra long-lasting flavor attention on their birthday. Love, Caleb. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Literally. Oh, I love you, buddy. Yeah, so how'd you guys like that? <laughs> Told you I was an idiot, and he laughed really hard. <sighs> okay. Um, topic number two. Let's get into topic number two. So as you guys know, in this series we have some serious topics and we have some stupid topics. That one was, you know, funny and serious and this next one is going to be kind of stupid, but, it, you know, it just died. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this. Topic number two, dabbing is dead. Like, I can't remember the last time I honestly saw somebody dab. Like, it's not even a real dab. Like, you get the picture. I haven't seen somebody dab in, like, a long freaking time. And I just, it's not popular anymore. No one at school, I'm in middle school and people don't dab anymore. That's how you know something lost its popularity. This is coming from me. I don't know what you guys think, but I haven't seen someone dab. Unless it's, like, a really crazy video like me. You know, I haven't seen somebody dab in, like, so long. It's just been a long time. But, the weird thing is, I still see people whip. And that song was made in, like, what? 2014? 2013? No, it was not 2013. It's gotta be 2014. Almost four years old. And then Dabbing's what? Dabbing's not that old. Still, Dabbing died before the whip died. Dabbing is dead. I don't know what to think of it because it got so bad on my old school that we had to ban it in elementary. Uh, that was a few years ago and it was actually really popular, but now it's dead. I mean, like, we literally had to ban it. That's how much it was going on. And now it doesn't happen at all. You would literally go to the police. You literally go to, like, the principal's office for dabbing. Because it's a gang sign. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a threat. <laughs> and we have counselors calling the entire school down to the freaking cafeteria. Because, oh, one person makes a joke about school shooters. They're a threat. Now we have to have a police officer going around our school because of students. They're school shooters. Really? Are you serious? Right now? Are you serious? I, oh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, you don't know. You could look at me. I'm a school shooter. Oh, but no, sorry. We're not supposed to joke about that. I'm not a school What is in this drawer? Nothing. I'm not a school shooter. You know me, but oh, everyone's a threat after one person says it. Fuck. I mean, nothing. Sorry guys, I swear too much. Um, but yeah. <sighs> Move on to topic number three. Number tres. I actually want to know, because I'm just curious, what do you guys want for Christmas? I know most of my audience is my people from school, so what, what do you guys want for Christmas? I'm just curious, because I actually, honestly, I need ideas, because I really don't want anything. Like, I, I, I am so spoiled here that the only thing I've wanted so far is a flannel, 
that I, I looked through like a hundred articles of magazine, like literally a hundred, I'm not even exaggerating, a hundred like magazine articles. All I circled that I wanted was like a flannel and I think that's it. I wanted a recliner too. <laughs> this chair is getting pretty worn out. I need a new recording uh, chair. This isn't even straight. Yeah, but I want to know what you guys want for Christmas. I, I don't care if it's crazy. I don't care if it's really tiny, like a flannel. I just want to know what you guys want for Christmas. And uh, I'm donating to uh, Toys for Tots. I'm donating to Toys for Tots. There's this website that happens around my area where you can eh, put a picture of things on and put a price on it. I've done that with some of my stuff. I mean, God, I, I made like 60 bucks just today, but I decided, you know what? I don't want to make 80 bucks off of that other stuff that's in there. I mean, I have some other things set aside. There's about a hundred bucks worth, but I don't want to make that 80 or 90 bucks there. I want kids that don't have toys to get those toys and have a good time. You know what I mean? Because I lived, I lived, I didn't live through a tough time like they are, but I lived through the time of getting a toy and being thrilled. And, and it, it made me feel happy. Those kids would be even more happy because of the things they don't have. And that's what makes me think about things, you know. If you've got it good and you know other people don't, let them have it good too, you know. <laughs> Give away some items, spend some cash, just let other people be in the situation that you're in. Or at least somewhat, you know what I mean? Uh, I really do want to know. I want to know what uh, you guys want for Christmas. Um, yeah. I don't know. I really, I only asked for cash for Christmas, if I'm being honest. I'm saving up for a car, man. I'm, I don't know. You guys may be doing something similar, but I like to save, I'm going to start saving up early. That way I can get something that's not like real Kojak smoking. Pop! You know what I mean? Something like that. Um... I want something that drives smooth. I'm telling you, man, that's why random is in the name of this series. Because it's so random. Logic. Seriously, though, tell me what you guys want. Down in the comments, and I'll, I'll, I'll reply to every single one of you guys. Because uh, I, I do that. I'm a nice YouTuber. Yeah, man. I'm a nice YouTuber. Right? I, I, <laughs> uh, I'm over here. <laughs> it sounds like I'm crying, but I just got a bunch of crap and gunk stuck in my throat. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. <laughs> Welcome to cringe. Let's move on to topic number four. is actually really sad um I guess there was this plane that crashed um there was a family from Fort Wayne Indiana in it and uh it crashed in I can't remember I think it was Pennsylvania or Virginia I always get those two mixed up I don't know why but I know it was in Pennsylvania or Virginia I I feel so bad because he crashed in the middle of the woods the entire family uh, was rushed to the hospital, or at least when they were found. Um, I think the girl was, I think the girl and I think it was her dad maybe, were taken by an ambulance, and then the boy and the mother were taken by a helicopter lift. I don't remember, but just think about it. I saw this on the news. Uh, this morning, I call me geek. I really don't care. I'm not around school as a geek. I take pride in being a geek. 
I don't really care. Because the cool kids aren't cool. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes me get somewhat cool. Cool kids aren't cool. They're idiots. Gotta mature. They just gotta mature. How did we even get into this conversation here? Yeah, but, but, uh, I was, wa oh yeah, I watched the news. I was watching the news at like 5, 6 o'clock this morning. I get up at 5.30, I take my shower at 5.35, go upstairs at about 5.50. So, it was on at about 5.50 in the morning. Um, I heard about this, and instantly I felt terrible for the family. But they did say in that news report that, um, all four of them were in living conditions, none of them would pass, and that was good. They should all be back in their homes uh, and healed within like two weeks, I think they said. So, everything's all good from there. Uh, as far as the plan, I really don't know. Uh, but I'm glad that the family's okay. And that picture, man, that plane was just wrecked. Like... I'm trying to give an example of wrecked. Wrecked like my trailer park. Like, it, it, terrible. Just cancerous. I, I, I can't be doing that. Oh, yeah. And uh, while we're just talking, I don't know. I know this has nothing to do with the subject. And I have complete sympathy for this family. So if any of you are watching related to this family, please, please tell those four that I am there. I am... I'm here, okay? I, I, I completely, I feel bad. I feel very bad, and I hope you guys get well soon. Um, but while we're just talking, I did something yesterday that I haven't done in a really long time. And it almost sounds dramatic, but it, it, it's really not. I uploaded a 17-minute video. Oh, wait, that was two days ago. I uploaded a 17-minute video. I can't remember the last time I uploaded a video that was lower than 20 minutes. I provide for you people. Feel you people. You know what I meant. Um, but, but, um, yeah. Also, I didn't upload yesterday, so I'm sorry. I just felt really weird. Yesterday was Sunday. I just wanted to go to sleep so I could have a good week. You know what I mean? Like, who who doesn't want to go to sleep and have a nice week? I mean, I gotta get up at 5.30 every morning, think about this. Right now it's about 9 o'clock, almost 9 o'clock. I've been recording for a good 35 minutes now, but all the editing. Um, yeah. But I, I usually get in bed 9.30ish just to get, you know, at least seven and a half, eight at the most hours of sleep. Uh, but yeah. Let's move on to our fifth topic. Fifth topic for fifth episode. Yay. This fifth topic is actually really true. Um, you know, it may seem stupid, but it's so true. Netflix is one of the easiest, best, cheap ways to entertain your family, entertain yourself, have a good time with your friends, and chill. But yeah, there are thousands of TV shows, thousands of movies, kids shows, adult shows, you know, comedies, all that stuff, right there on Netflix. So. On a Saturday night, sit down with your family, cook some popcorn, caramel corn, whatever. I don't really care what you eat. Uh, just don't want to give yourself a heart attack. My heart went to jail today. It was a cardiac arrest. Yeah, but just grab your family. Eat some food. Curl up with your blanket. Um... Oof. 
drink some water, and have a good time. Watch a movie. Watch a TV show. Watch your favorite TV series. 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 That's what I like to do. If I'm not recording or doing homework, it's a good time. But, anyways, that's going to be a pretty short topic right there. Um, so I think this video is going to turn out to be like, what, 22, 23 minutes? I'm just guessing with all the video clips. I'm just trying to add it up in my head. I could be completely wrong. I want to see how close my guess is, though. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please go down and hit the like button. Also, tell me down in the comments what you guys did think of the video. And also, hit the subscribe button with the little bell next to it to turn on video and notifications for this channel. And, uh, yes, I hope you did enjoy this video, as I already said. And, uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for possibly another episode of Maple City. And, um, Wednesday for Whisper Challenge with Luce, and Q&A with Dad part five? Five or four? Five. Peace, dudes. <laughs>